a 3 watt LED gooseneck lamp from IKEA. This has got quite a lot of nice features. It's a good rigid um, neck. It's got rubber suction cups in the clip. It's got an inline switch. A nice colour of LED, uh, a warm white. I've quite just a nice colour. The lens feels kind of loose now. And a power supply that the lamp plugs into with a sort of old style speaker connection. And it says it's rated 4 volts, DC at 750 milliamps or 3 watts. And it's made by Kwong Ming Electrical MFY manufacturer. I'm not 100% sure, made in China, as you'd predict. So I thought, let's, um, I've started trying to take this to bits. Uh, wasn't sure how it came to bits, so I decided let's, uh, let's film it while taking it to bits so you can uh, enjoy the carnage at first hand. Guessing this prizes out, I don't think it screws out. Oh. Okay. Outer lens assembly, well, the outer frame, because there's a, a, a secondary lens here. There's two clips that hold it in. Then there's a little lens in the middle. And a reflector cup. Little white plastic reflector cup, cup with the matching clips. It's notable that the power supply said 4 volts, but it didn't uh, suggest it was... Well, maybe it is current regulated, current limited. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but certainly they'll be current limiting for the LED. Single point LED in here. Okay, ooh, there's a uh, components on the board next to the LED. That holds the little heatsink in place. Oh, it says it's got a Creed chip in it, which is quite nice. And this housing is an aluminium type material and there's a sort of gap in the middle for the cable to come through and then there's heat sink compound on either side. That's just a circuit board. It's not an aluminium substrate uh, board with the LEDs on but it, the back is solid copper and it's got a lot of bonds through to help transfer the heat through to it. I'm guessing this, uh, these chips are either just transistors and it's a very simple current regulator because I see what could be a sense resistor um, microscope if I can get anywhere near these are there any numbers that I can read? It's quite hard getting close enough to this to read it. And I'm now covered in heat sink compound. Yeah. First one says 7135. says if I can actually get into it looks like it's a 7135 again uh, I'm not sure any suggestions of these transistors I've not actually looked that up because I've not had to open yet if they are common NPN style transistors it may just be a very simple 
current regulator. I would expect two resistors for that, no way. Oh, not 100% sure. Oh, that's not a resistor, it's a capacitor. Across the supply coming up. Hold on, meter. Yeah, the, uh, the capacitor is just directly across the supply. So these may be dedicated sort of um, current regulating chips then. In which case, each one would be giving roughly 350 milliamps. So they're probably designed for one watt LEDs and they probably just dissipate any excess um, uh, voltage above what the LED requires as heat into the heat sink. Yeah, that's interesting enough. It's very simple. The the end does get warmish to the touch, but not excessively hot. Um, and I, I like it. It's a very modular modular design. It's very um, very neat. It's not bad at all.